Just before one this morning, a fire burned down two entire apartment complexes in Mandan. Fire officials say several pets died and those buildings are a complete loss. Bella Kraft spoke with several residents who say there are no words to describe this loss. Sugar Barnes says everything she's worked for was once behind this door to her apartment. Unreal. I couldn't, I, I still can't believe it. You know, everything you work for is gone. Barnes has lived in the Sundown Apartments for the past seven and a half years. She's now looking for a new place to call home. It's not good. The adjacent building started on fire and the wind blew the blaze onto her unit. Ceiling's coming down. There's a bunch of sheetrock falling down. Joe Zanger was searching for his dad's urn, hoping it was somewhere in the charred rubble. My dad was upstairs above the refrigerator on a, on a ledge above the cabinets. And uh, they said they couldn't find him, so. Now he's just blending in with everybody else. His mother lives in the sundown complex. She and everyone else in the 13 occupied units made it out okay. Zanger says he's thankful, but still in shock. My whole life and picture and everything was up there. Everything from my mom and dad's anniversary to when we were kids, Mother's Day presents. Tessa Waitman can barely recognize her home. It's scary. Your whole life is in there. Waitman considers herself one of the fortunate ones. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. She says there are hopefully some salvageable items in bedrooms. Right now, my living room and everything in it is completely burned. About half my kitchen area is burned. Residents say the memory of this fire won't fade away for a while. Different things burning. It's just a smell that you won't get out of your, your mind anytime soon. But out of tragedy comes a glimmer of hope. When need be, everybody comes together as a community and helps each other out. A group of strangers are now working to rebuild together. That's Bella Craft reporting. The property manager says they spent today getting six units ready at other housing complexes for these sundown tenants. And they say all the fire victims should have some place to stay in the next couple of days.